I've had a fascination with the natural world for as long as I can remember. One of my focuses has been trying to show animals in an entirely new light. Wildlife photographer Will Burrowed Lucas has travelled the world with his camera, from taking pictures of exotic species in Madagascar to documenting wildebeest migration in the Serengeti and close encounters with western lowland gorillas in the Republic of Congo. This particular silverback male, his name was Neptuno, he was very wary of us and regularly charged towards me to uh, let me know he was boss. That was quite an exhilarating experience. <laughs> Through my photography I've always tried to show things to people that they haven't seen before. And I came up with a pretty simple idea. I stuck my camera on a remote control buggy, which I could then use to position it closer to the animals, much closer than any human could get without getting mauled or trampled. And so with this camera, which I call Beetle Cam, I was able to get close up, wide angle, ground level shots of some of the most dangerous animals in Africa. I had a vision of getting these close up, wide angle shots of Komodo dragons like I achieved with Beetle Cam in Africa. For that project, I created a rig that I called Komodo Cam and it was basically putting my camera on top of wheels and then pushing it along with a long pole. Some animals aren't as approachable, so Will developed camera traps, fixed cameras with motion sensors to control them. I have several of these camera traps set up at one time, monitoring different positions so that I could capture much shyer animals, nocturnal animals, and generally rarer, more elusive animals. Beetle cams and camera traps are tools I use when there's a particular perspective I'm trying to achieve. But very often I'm using traditional camera gear. This is my go-to camera and lens combination. It's 400mm f2.8 lens and a Canon camera. Will has now collected his best pictures from the last 10 years together in a book, Top Wildlife Sites of the World. The book was written with his wife Natalie while she was on maternity leave with their daughter Primrose. I love seeing the finished product. When I look at it, it feels sort of unbelievable that I actually wrote it. Uh, and it's so beautiful with Will's pictures. And of all the pictures in the book, Will does have some he's particularly proud of. I spent years trying to search for the elusive aardvark and that search eventually led me to the Makadi Kadi Pans in Botswana. This shot of two aardvarks was a really difficult shot to take. This is probably one of my favourite shots in the whole book. 